What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we completed the first two B-side levels, and I'm going to start off this episode by saying I'm so sorry about the infrequent uploads. Uh, life has just been a lot right now, and I have not been able to play games, uh, period, or like watch anime, or um, hang out with people, or chat with people, and it's been, it's been really rough, but I'm really <laughs> making an effort to... Um, take this time, this short time, this relatively short episode of time to do this for myself because I've been really missing Celeste and it's been three weeks since I've played it and uh, shout out to pre-recording that made all of, you know, two weeks ago happen and the one episode that was last week happen so yeah, it's been, it's been rough and this game is wonderful and I really enjoy it and I've got to get reacclimated to it but I figured, especially given all of its themes, it would be very fitting to uh, play this game given how I was feeling. Oh, I didn't see. Gotcha. I'm sure it'll come back to me. I gotta hold back a little bit there. But yeah, so my apologies for my, my absence both in real life for those of you that know me in real life, and on Discord for those of you in HeroNet, and on this channel for those of you that just watch me on this channel, which is totally fine. Alright, let's see here. Aw, oh, man. That looks like it might be a bit of a tougher jump than I'm initially thinking. It's probably, yeah, worthwhile to do that. Oh, I'm gonna be running out soon. Ooh! And that is placed just right to make that jump difficult. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, there we go. Doesn't really mean I'm out of or in the clear just yet. Certainly does not. Ooh, I didn't even know that that was gonna fall, but I'm glad I just went for it right away anyways. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ah, oh, so close! I was just kind of improvising, I was like, um, I feel like I have to try not to use my dash here, so I guess I'll try not to and hope for the best. Aw, oh, man. I realized I definitely did not go at the right time there. But regardless, thanks for your guys' patience and understanding and, you know, all that good stuff. It definitely goes a long way. I hope you guys have been well. I know there's all this panic about coronavirus, and I hear about it all the time in the hospital, and literally anybody who gets a hold of me is like, what should I do, what should I do? And I'm like, I'm not an infectious disease doctor. Although I will say that um, the hospital does a good job of keeping us informed with what we should be telling people. Aw, oh, and I got distracted. Um, and, and educating us on, you know, what we know about the virus and all that, and I guess I'm just really tired of all like the panic though and, and the news making it out to be a disaster. It's obviously very bad and very impactful, um, but I feel like the panic and the fear surrounding it is becoming, well not worse then, but it is, it is drastically complicating what would have already been just a bad public health concern um, and is now a, a social concern, both in terms of racism towards Asian people. Um, in terms of people that can afford to do so, um, hoarding groceries and tools and, and other supplies, it's uh, it's another one of those things where it's like, guys, guys, we need we need to work together. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. So I've definitely got to go up like that, and then I need to get that. I'd imagine I need to. Well, no, I definitely can't use the dash on the way up though. So I've got to basically get it and then jump my way back up so I can do that. Just gotta time it a little bit better. Oh, um, for those that remember, I mentioned a ways back that I was pretty, or I was um, trying to decide what like medical specialty I wanted to do. 
But I finally decided, I've decided what specialty I'm going to apply to. And for those of you that care slash know what it is, I'm going to be applying into otolaryngology head and neck surgery. And that is I'm, something I'm really excited about. It's something I'm really nervous about because it's actually one of the most competitive specialties to try to get into. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. So it's making this year um, that much more difficult and contributing a lot to the stress I have right now. But part of why I'm actually so interested in this specialty is because uh, the personalities it attracts tend to be more lax and welcoming and nice despite being a surgical specialty. And I'd be more than happy to talk about it at length. I guess it's just really on my mind, which is why I'm bringing it up now. I really shouldn't be. Oh no, I fell too fast! Let's see, what else is going on in my life? I'm on, well, no, I was about to say, I'm on my internal medicine rotation. But no, I'm not gonna talk about medicine in my, my YouTube videos. Well, not this one at least. Because part of this is just escaping from all of that. Ooh. That looks like an interesting, huh, trap there. The, the red blob is moving at a different rate, obviously, than the spring there. So I'm probably going to need to... Hmm. That's not going to give me my uh, dash back. That will. I probably should not have done that. Ah, man, I almost, I almost made it work. Aw, oh, man. I guess something interesting is that I've been re-watching the original Star Wars and then the uh, the prequels as well. I have, I've only seen The Force Awakens of the uh, newer trilogy, the sequels. So, actually, a long time ago, in anticipation of the new one coming out, whichever one it was recently, my dad and I wanted to re-watch a bunch of the Star Wars movies, and so that's what we decided to do, but we didn't end up actually <laughs> getting to finish them all in time, mostly because of me, mostly because I didn't afford the time for it, but it's been fun when we get the chance to do so. Oh, I didn't even see myself for a moment. Wow, that is... That is tough. I think I need to actually make it back to the spring there. But, yeah, so I've been in a very Star Wars mood, which is really great because it's something that was, like, so integral to my childhood, but it's something I haven't thought about or been, you know, such a big fan of for so long. But, like, I remember growing up, I would re-watch scenes from those movies over and over and over, and my parents would get sick of it. Um, it was <laughs> it's really funny. Honestly, I love the prequel trilogy. I know they get a lot of crap, but I think the the original trilogy also kind of gets like a get out of jail free card in a lot of ways. Now that I've rewatched them, and I feel like a lot of the same shenanigans or antics or uh, cringiness that's present in the the prequel trilogy is also present in the original trilogy. Something to be said though is definitely the the storytelling in the original trilogy is definitely a tier above that of the prequel trilogy, but the action the action in the uh, prequels is really, really great. Uh. Darn. It's really trying to make that work there, but this room is giving me a difficult time. This, uh, this room's music reminds me of Mega Man Network Transmission. I don't know if, well, probably not too many of you have played that game. It, uh, I don't think it did too well when it came out on the GameCube forever ago, but it was probably only like really the uh, the intense Mega Man fans that played it. Basically, if you play the Battle Network series, it is not one of those games. It's in that universe, but it is very much a old school Mega Man platformer with a couple mechanics that integrate the uh, like the Battle Network universe. And um, the music is incredible. I love the, the voice acting and I love the visuals. It was a game that I actually played when I was like really into the Battle Network series. I guess I never really not into the Battle Network series. But uh, 
I originally played it when I was expecting a Battle Network game and got so frustrated with the platforming that I didn't make it very far and just kind of gave up on it and traded it in. And I definitely regret it now. Um, I did manage to pick up a copy though and play through it again and beat it and um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Ah oh, man. <laughs> what, what did I do there? I gotta figure out a more reliable way to handle this. Let's see here. Oh man! Alright, let's let us let us focus here instead of just talking about all of the different games I've enjoyed over the years or the the Star Wars series. Well I'm sure plenty of you have thoughts about the Star Wars. It's become so popular now that most people have at least something to say about it. Oh no! Alright, let's see here. Why did I do that? No, I finally made it over there without dying <laughs> and screwed it up on something so easy. Darn it! I was just trying to survive. I just wanna, just wanna keep going. Always down for some good platforming. Speaking of, I have the uh, the Mega Man Zero Legacy Collection, Zero and ZX Legacy Collection, on its way in from Japan because the online Capcom store had a like special edition of it that had some really cool extras that I I just could not pass up. Oh man. That was it guys, that was it! But yeah, I ordered the collector's edition from Japan and I'm so excited for when it finally comes in. I finally got a Detolf, like a glass case to display some of my favorite collectibles. And um, it's, uh, it's got one shelf ready for Mega Man. And it's definitely gonna include the collectibles from the, the Zero Collection. Wow, this is proving to be more difficult than I anticipated. Oh man, that was that was tough. I definitely waited a little bit too long on that second one. But yeah, I've got some anime figures and some of my favorite gaming pieces and some of my gaming figures on display. I'm very much one for all of that. You know what I'm also one for? <laughs> Succeeding at platforming segments. But it doesn't seem to be uh, working too well right now, is it? Yeah, I guess I'm trying to figure out what the uh, the faster way to go about it is, maybe. There's got to be a more speedrun friendly route through here. I think I got to jump and then go over that second one. Let's see here. Yeah, like that. Oh, and I think if I were to keep going, or, you know, moving to the right there, I would have been fine. Nice. There we go. That was a lot faster than what I was expecting. Ooh, who texted me? You did. Okay. What do we want to do here? I've only got one dash, and I definitely need to save it for that, I don't know, the, the area that ha the two floating platforms that have the red on them. I need to jump over the red to the right, and then dash to the top right. So I need to not use my dash in this first part. That's going to be tough, but I, I, can, I can see how it's doable at least. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> I didn't... I was not holding on. I've got to be, like, ready to go. 
Okay, yeah, that was that was it though. I've got to be that fast, basically. Darn, and I was not that fast. Too fast. Ooh, nice. I am happy about that one. So I see some platforms. However, they are not safe. Or at least not safe for very long. Ooh, that is that is tough. But that's cool. I like that. I like that. I, I wonder... Hmm... I feel like I need to be in the air when they transition, because I don't think even if I were to go, you know, as fast as I can think of, I'd be able to do it in time. Yeah, I think I'm going a little bit too fast there, actually. Hmm. I definitely need to make that jump when the, uh, the one on the right is moving down. Up, so that's not gonna be it. Whoa, that was that was weird. I like maintained a lot of my momentum from my dash when I did that wall jump. Let's see here. But then what? Oh, I didn't see that there. I was I just dashed to the left and was like, wait, where do I go? But I didn't see the little platform I could have landed on, unfortunately. That was not it. That was also not it. I think it's just going to be easier if I think about it in terms of I need to do this when the platform on the left is coming down to me. So it's like... Hmm. Oh, I thought I died! I heard the crystal break and I thought I died! That's uh, unfortunate, but also kind of funny. They make it weird to to get the timing right there. Oh, I was so close! I was so close! Alright. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. What is this? I don't know, but on to the next screen we go. Hmm. So I definitely need to land on this first platform so that I can use my dash to get to the right one. I should take my time and, and like cling onto the side of these so I can think about things for a second. Oh no, I missed the platform! <laughs> Darn it, I, I like wasn't processing so I wanted to think and um, well, you all saw how that turned out. Oh, that's not a platform? No, I, I saw the orange like cap thing from before and thought it was a platform I could land on. That, I guess it makes sense though, otherwise it would have been too safe of a, of a platforming segment. What, I didn't get my jump back? Aw, uh, I thought I landed on the, uh, the top of that, but I guess not. Okay, up and over. Anything I'm missing? No, I don't really need to worry about that here, do I? Ooh, this is gonna be tough. This is so Meat Boy! This is so Meat Boy! I love this corridor here, with all the wall jumping. This feels so Meat Boy. Oh, so close! I hesitated, because I wasn't sure what to do, but then it all became clear.
What am I gonna have to do? Okay. I was like, I gotta react. I don't know what to do. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And it worked out. Oh, and there's a spring. Okay, that was fair enough. Are we gonna deal with some wind now, or is that just just aesthetic? Oh wow. That's intimidating. Uh-oh, we gotta move, we gotta move! All right, so I gotta be fast about it then. Okay, I needed to wait a little bit longer there, but yeah, it seems with about that pace I should be good. Oh no! Oh no! I should have known. I should have known the game wouldn't have given would not have given me a break there. Oh, that was not good. Is what it was. Okay, I need to I need to go to the right when I land on that. I need to not think about just boinging it up. Oh, that's so close. Oh, I, I, I'm stupid. <laughs> I go over it, not under it. Yeah. There we go. All right, looks like we got a little bit more to go. No, that's not what I wanted to happen. Am I gonna go this extra mile to not die? I went that extra mile to not die. Ooh, that was... That got me. Ooh. Hmm. Come on! You can do it! You can do it! Yes! We are cruising, and whoa! This is, um, neat. Huh. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Okay, are we close to the end? We're, only, we're definitely only making it through one B-side in this uh, episode, if we make it through one. No, they're going to take away the block! <laughs> they took it away again! <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Well, not too much we can do about that. Okay, I needed to stall a little bit there. I know that I get my... my dash back once I, um... land on the blocks. So I should be okay stalling, but I don't think I need to for the first one. I think I can just jump right into it. But, oh, I did it again. <laughs> I did it again, guys. It's the second one I need to stall on. Alright, we're good. Stall. Over. <sighs> oh, man. That was close. I was like, am I, about to, am I about to make it through? Just improvising. <laughs> Darn it, again! I think I need to dash earlier. This is so I dashed later. Nice, nice, ni nice going, Nick. No, I did it again. Whoa, oh. I got startled by the uh, the lack of breakage of the crystal, and then that was the beginning of the end. That's kind of funny, actually. Well, <laughs> I definitely held that a little bit too early. No, I did it again. Sorry, I can salvage this.
Darn, I can definitely land on that, so I don't even need to worry about that timing. Ah, <sighs> I should just stick to the plan. Probably just hover there and, and go upright. I feel like that would be the, the easier way to go about it. Nope. I didn't do it again. Why? It's gotta be like absolute muscle memory. Speaking of, he then screws up the jump at the very beginning. I feel like that's one of the first times in a while I've died in that manner. Nope, I did it again. Oh, really? I thought I landed on it. Uh. And then over, over. Okay. Oh, I should have just gone for it. I had to go for it, actually. It's, it's not even just I should have. I I think I have to. Oh, and I did that again. <laughs> I'm just so eager to move on to the next part. I thought I almost messed that up again. I don't even remember exactly what I did to make it work there. I did that. That's what I did. I remember I dashed up and I stalled. That's what I did. All right, now we're just gonna go straight across. Oh, I was so close. I knew I should have just chilled on the spring more. I should have just chilled on the spring. And that, the game was actually giving me a second to breathe there. Oh, that was not what I did last time that was successful. I don't know why. That, neither was that! Nick, no! You can't be doing this to yourself. What is this self-sabotage? I've got a pattern down. I've got a timing down. I've got a route. See, I can chill on this, and it's okay. All right, we've made it here. So up here we go, I guess. And we're finally outside. Oh, we've got our friend. Well, ish. Dang. It means we're getting pretty close to the end, though. And I uh, ooh, do not have a lot of time. I'm intentionally probably not the best idea, but I am sacrificing sleep to do this because I mean at this point if I go to sleep, if I were to fall asleep like right now I would get seven hours of sleep, which would be the most sleep I've had in the past like two and a half weeks. Oh, I didn't realize I was uh, in the red zone. That's right, that gives us back our jump. Oh, I'm totally gonna utilize that. <laughs> he says as he dies. Uh-oh. I think I need to utilize it at that point. Oh, what? Uh, I think I need to be over there when he 
Like, I need to be fast enough that I'm over there. There we go. Oh. Hmm. Come on. Up, 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 Madeline. Oh, I didn't get the... Whew. Oh, temple. <laughs> why didn't I make the full jump? Darn. Yeah, I really need to utilize the, the head bonks, but I'm not. I wonder how long this segment is. Bonk. That was not ideal. Oh, I should have timed that better. Because I knew I was already using so much stamina just climbing that part. I tried to get the, the bonk. Uh, I went too fast. Because I can definitely set him up for, you know, certain heights, depending on how quickly I move through the platforms, right? So if I, like, wait a second, he'll definitely be lower. And then similarly, if I wait there, oh, I still, that was still too fast. And that was not fast enough. Darn. I have yet to make it very far in this. That time I was moving super fast. I was like way ahead of the game there. Aw oh, man. Whoa, that was weird. It almost looked like I was grabbing onto the, the red block. Or the red matter or whatever it is. Oh, there's a spring there! I didn't see the spring, guys! I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Don't hate me, I didn't see the spring. Alright, we're doing well, and spring, boing. And we made it through to this side. However, we do not have a break. We do not have a break from our friend. Oh, I bet I know what I need to do. Yeah. Oh, that is... Yeah. So I need to do certain segments really quickly um, in order to escape. That's actually really cool. Because I'm only going to be at like a certain height for most of the, the time. Come on, I'm trying to do the little like slide. Why is it not... Hello. Okay, that time it finally worked. I was like, am I... Like, what is going on? Do I need to do it from, like, earlier or what? Then I got clipped there. Lovely. Okay. On to the next screen. I don't know... This seems like we're going to be just having to wing it, so... We can definitely do that. I'm sure if I do it fast enough. I mean, I'm sure that ice wall is there for a reason, but... Oh, I guess not. Ooh, this is... this is cool. Oh, I got... I got disoriented because I didn't get the crystal because, well, I uh, had already regained my jump from the bonk. Oh, I was so close to the end there! Dang. I do really feel, I feel like we're getting close to the end of the level here. I would not be surprised if this were like the end end of the level. Oh. Nope, we still got more, because of course. Alright, so how are we going to do this? We're going to climb up here, up over like that, and we got to go down here, up, over, over. We do that, and we can go down. And now, ooh, it's the music, guys, it's the music. We're on the final screen. <laughs> that was not very successful. Oh, 
Oh, that doesn't count. Dang. Okay. Hmm. Dang, that was close. All right, guys, we did it. Whew. We got the uh, the good karma heart, and we with that we've officially completed chapter three's B side. That was a fun one. That was fun. That was some good stuff. Thank you guys for your support and for lending an ear as we completed that B side. Woof. Good stuff, man. It feels good to play this game again. I. I love the platforming in this game, but, all right, um, whoa, I set down the controller, but, all right, all right, rumble feature, you can, you can chill now, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, sorry again about the, being all over the place, for those of you that do comment, for those of you that are in HeroNet, feel free to, you know, drop by and, and say something, it's always appreciated, and I'm looking forward to, who knows when, uh, getting back to my normal life again, where I can hopefully spend more time in, you know, with the people I want to and uh, doing the things I enjoy. But regardless, I'll see you guys next episode, whenever it may be. But until then, this is Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.